Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview, like how you can run your flow in system mode. So basically here I have record trigger flow and uh, I have auto launch flow. So in some of the business requirements, we come to encounter like uh, the user who is running the flow, that user uh, don't have uh, access to particular fields, uh, right? So if you still want to run that flow and want to give access to those fields to that user, even if they don't have any FLS or object permissions, so uh, you can uh, run your flow in system mode, but if you are creating record trigger flow, so in record trigger flow, you don't have that feature. So if you click on save as go to show advanced. So here we don't have any uh, option to run the flow in system mode, right? But if you go to auto launch flow and click on save as and uh, go to show advanced. So here you have this option, how to run the flow. So you have three options, user or system context depend on how flow is launched. So it is by default. Then we have system context with sharing and system context without sharing, right? So here you can read this help text. So by default, how the flow is launched determines whether the flow runs in the context of the user or the system. If you choose system context with sharing, the flow respects OWD settings, role hierarchy, sharing rule, manual sharing, terms, teams, and territories. But it doesn't respect object permissions, field level access, and other permissions of the running user. If you choose system context without sharing, the flow can access all data, right? So what you can do, you can choose uh, any of the option like from these two, right? And uh, you can save your flow. So here you can see it is showing run as system. So this way, this auto launch flow you configured to run as system context, right? Now you can call this auto launch flow in this record trigger flow. So the part which you implemented in record trigger flow, which will uh, that will run uh, as per the logged in user. But when you uh, call that auto launch flow uh, with the help of this subflow element. So this subflow element you can find here and uh, you can call that flow and you can pass the required values input values uh, in that flow right so it will look like this so this piece will be running in the system context right and if you want to receive in input in this auto launch flow so you can create a variable and you can just enable this checkbox available for input so when you will be like having that flow here so this way you need to pass the values into that variable, right? So this way, uh, this is a common uh, scenario which sometimes is required in the flows, uh, like in the projects. So what you can do, like uh, in auto launch flow, you can have this run as system and then you can uh, run this flow with the help of record triggered flow. I hope this workaround will help you.